Welcome to this lecture on using Keynote presentations in iBooks Author. Now, iBooks Author allows you to easily add Keynote slideshows to your book. And in order to do this, you actually need to have the latest version of Keynote installed on your Mac. And the fidelity of Keynote files is pretty decent in iBooks Author, but you want to keep in mind that certain slide transitions might not work. So check your book before you submit it. Anyway, let's try this with our project. So I'm going to go to the geography section in my first chapter. I'm going to go ahead and I have a presentation on the five boroughs in New York. So I'm going to go back to my exercise files and uh, you can see that I actually have a folder called widget keynote. If I launch that keynote file, um, you can see that it's actually a fairly short keynote presentation. It's six slides and uh, it basically just has these targets that allow you to navigate between slides one through six. If somebody clicks on one, it takes them to the slide on Manhattan. When they click on two, it takes them to the slide on Queens and so forth. So I've, um, I've set this up in Keynote and I'm ready to bring this into iBooks Author. So again, the way that I can do this is by adding a widget and going to Keynote, you know, dropping in the widget onto my page. And then I can choose to simply just drag and drop this file onto the widget. It'll go through the conversion process, or I can simply just drag the Keynote file onto my page. And it, what it's going to do is it's actually going to open up this file in Keynote, and it's going to do the conversion in Keynote, and then uh, give me the output back in iBooks Author. Okay, so this process might take a little bit of time, and remember that uh, some of the transitions that you have in Keynote may not work here. Okay, so you probably noticed that Keynote had launched in the background, and it was going through that conversion process. It's done now, and it's brought it over here. Now, I can't actually interact with this Keynote while I'm working in iBooks Author. In order to actually test this out, I would have to preview this file. So we'll do that in a second, but before we get to that, let's just again go back to our widget inspector and take a look at some of the options that we have for this Keynote widget. The first one is, do we want this to play on the page or play full screen? So in this case, let's go ahead and say we're going to play this uh, full screen. So it sort of changes the way that it appears, that the widget sort of gives you a small thumbnail of the first slide and then it gives you the ability to add a, uh, a title so I'll just call it the five boroughs of New York and then under layout I can say I don't want a caption the title is descriptive enough and then if I go back to the interaction uh, you can see the other things that I can do here is I could show transport controls if I had a if I was playing this on the page let me just quickly show you what that looks like. Transport controls basically gives you the ability to manually skip through the, the presentation or go back to the first slide here. So in my case, I'll just go back to playing uh, this on full screen. And I kind of like it right there. Okay, so I'm ready to go ahead and preview this. So I'll go to my file menu, preview current section only. Okay, so I have my iBooks uh, preview file opened here now. So if I click on the icon, you can see that it actually just goes directly to full screen. And now I can click on any of these items. So I'll click on the Bronx, for example, and it takes me to the, to the Bronx slide. Now one thing that it's doing is, is the animation. It has this sort of zoom animation that uh, it's supposed to do. And it, but it doesn't stay. So that is something that was working in Keynote, but it's not working here. So those types of things you want to watch out for when you're bringing in Keynote files. But this is a really powerful feature, especially if you already have content that's in Keynote or you're familiar with Keynote and you know how to build interactivity in your Keynote presentations. It's a great way to build content that's interactive and interesting, visually uh, easy to build, and you can import it, insert it into your iBooks Author project. So note that if you have uh, media files that are embedded in your keynote presentations, you really should take them out and use the media widget instead. It's going to be much more reliable in terms of playback. And if you have a self-playing file with voiceover narration, it might not work as expected. So you probably want to do some previewing of that file before you decide to publish. 
uh, for this type of a presentation where you have a voiceover narration, you might want to take a look at exporting to QuickTime and then bringing it into iBooks Author so that it plays back as a video. The other thing, keep in mind, if you have PowerPoint content and you want to use that in iBooks Author, the best way to do that would be to just open up that PowerPoint presentation in Keynote, save it as a Keynote file, and then insert it into iBooks Author. Now, depending on how complex your PowerPoint file is, you might see some formatting changes or some of the features might not work when you bring it into Keynote, uh, but certainly it's, it's worth a try and I think the fidelity is generally pretty good. So, as you can see, adding Keynote presentations can be a great way to reuse existing material or to add an interactive element to your book. And this concludes our lecture on Keynote presentations in iBooks Author.